And new details in the disturbing case of a mentally disabled woman being impregnated at a Brevard County group home. Her family, Greg, has now hired an attorney. And we told you yesterday that Rockledge police arrested Willie Shorter after his DNA came back as a 99.99% chance to match the woman's baby. Channel Lines, Ashley Edlin joins us live in studio with the latest on this investigation. Ashley. Hey Greg, I spoke to those lawyers over the phone today and they told us they plan to file suit in a week on behalf of the client and her parents who are outraged. She was 100%. Over the phone, attorney Kevin Smith told us his client has been a patient at Bridges Group Home Facility for 10 years. He says she's needed care since she was a teenager after a case of the measles during childhood left her brain damaged. She has the mental capacity of about a 10 or 11 year old. She cannot care for herself. Smith told us her parents thought she was in safe hands all that time until she became pregnant in 2015 and named three men at the facility as possible fathers. One of those men was Willie Shorter, who was just arrested this week and charged with lewd battery against a disabled adult. In an arrest affidavit, Rockledge police say his DNA is a 99.99% match to her son. Smith says her parents have now hired him to file suit and feel something should have been done sooner. They are crushed. They're angry. They want to see this monster put in jail. They want to see... The facility held responsible for allowing this to happen to their daughter. Yesterday, the CEO of Bridges told me Shorter was moved to another facility when the woman became pregnant in 2015 because there was not enough evidence to terminate Shorter back then. He continued to work at Bridges. Up until what date? Up to this past Tuesday when he was arrested by Do the police. You believe there could be any other victims that he targeted? I sincerely hope not. We learned today Shorter is now out on bond, and we also reached out to the state attorney's office in Brevard. They told us they don't have information on the case yet. Live in the studio, Ashley Adlin, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.